A very good morning to all the students and uh, I wish you all happy Republic Day in advance also. Let's perform our duty sincerely so that we can relish our rights happily. Still students are joining, please be punctual enough. Okay, this is also one of the duties towards you, yourself only. So we're going to start new chapter today. That is the last chapter of the syllabus. After this, we have just left some topics of grammar. Point one or two, uh, writing skills are almost done. So chapter is the beggar. Theme is transformation of a beggar. Uh, what sort of transformation this beggar will be, you know, transformed into a good person, but how he will be uh, transformed into a good person that we will read in the chapter. Then we have another theme that is impact of good company. The kind of people you meet in your life, they are going to affect your life throughout. Fine. Then importance of hard work also. We will learn something about importance of hard work also in this chapter clear let me introduce the characters and protagonists all three important characters are there okay but mainly lashkov and olga sajai mene last me likha because secondary mc as compared to lashkov and olga this is the uh, second one fine so lashkov and olga who is the beggar here lashkov is the beggar so he is the protagonist who is going to play this part clear who is olga olga is you can say cook of Sarjai, okay. Cook of Sarjai, she works as a maid, you can say as a helper at Sarjai. Who is Sarjai? He is well known advocate. Clear? So these three characters are there. Sarjai is one of the prominent advocates. He has hired one cook for herself. Her name is Olga. She is very hardworking, very humble, very down to earth. Opposite character is Lushkov. Lushkov is a beggar and he does not believe in working hard. He is very casual. He believes in cooking up the stories and mincing money from the people. Fine. He is very, very lazy kind of person. You know, he's not at all that active enough to work hard. And, you know, you might have seen many people are there on this road. They are just asking for money to the every, uh, from the every nook and corner, wherever they find. But then there are people who are physically... Uh, you can say uh, uh, handicap, but even then they are working hard to make money. So it's it doesn't mean uh, if you are okay, Rishikesh. This is not the time to discuss the notebooks. You your timing is so incorrect, and you don't. I will change the duty. I guess you in between. Also, you keep on sending me messages about notebooks and all. I know that when I ask you, then that conversation will go on. Here, our important thing is our learning, okay? So do not bring, I have already, before joining the meeting, I have already asked them to send the notebooks. Nobody, nobody will chat, write in the chat box now about the notebooks and all, okay? So let's continue the chapter here. Lashkov is the beggar, okay? Olga is the cook and Sajai is advocate. So I was telling you about Lashkov is not at all hardworking, but uh, how he transforms himself, that is to be seen in this chapter. So very interesting chapter, The Beggar. So please note down the theme written on the board, transformation of a beggar from a good, hardworking person, fine. Uh, from, uh, you can say, casual to hardworking. Then impact of good company and importance of hard work. Now I'll be sharing the screen. Please open your books as well. So Sajai is an accomplished and prosperous man, you know. Jo Sajai hai, he is very accomplished and uh, prosperous advocate and uh, uh, he has a keen eye. He is very good observer. Let me tell you about the three characters. And uh, you know, uh, he has met Lashkov twice in life. Pehle jab milta hai, Lashkov ko dusri bar milta hai, there is transformation. So we will read what sort of transformation that is. So Olga is a Sajai's cook. She is, uh, you know, she's very ill-tempered. Vaise. Jo Olga hai, you know, sometimes people are very rude, but we do not uh, try to know the reason why they're, but they're very good at heart, though they are rude. So very ill-tempered lady she is. Wo achche se behave nahi karti hai. Uh, but actually her heart is full of kindness. She's like coconut, you can say. Bahar se zyada sakhat hai. Andar se she's very soft-hearted. So she, you know, she's the one who will be handling Lashkov in a very strict way. And Lashkov, you know, the protagonist, he's the beggar. And he keeps on telling lies about his plight, Rona, har, har baat pe rona dhona, and just getting the sympathy and pity on himself by the people. 
clear so let's read this chapter is it clear the introduction part is clear to you all any doubt about any of the characters you can ask me clear hai lashkov is the beggar who's who keeps on getting pity of the people fine olga is the cook who's ill tempered but she's very good at heart and sajay is the well known and prosperous advocate fine chaliye screen visible to you all the beggar kind sir have pity turn your attention to a poor hungry man for 3 days i have had nothing to eat i haven't five uh, i uh, have not five kopecks for a lodging kopecks is a currency beta jaise hum kehte hain na kuch paise bhi nahi hai mere paas in that way saying that mere paas kuch panch kopecks bhi nahi hai that so that i can have lodging i can stay somewhere i swear it before god for 8 years i was a village school teacher and then i lost my place through intrigues so i fell a victim to fine calumny so meanings are uh, given at the back of your book which are page number 67 pe sare meanings diye hue hain kopak is russian coin equal to 100th of a ruble fine kopak is रशियन क्वाइंस को कह देते हैं कोपेक्स सो रशियन करेंसी है ये कोपेक्स प्लीज राइट डाउन द मीनिंग्स इट इज रिटर्न ऑलरेडी ऑन पेज सिक्सटी सेवन देन वी हैव कॉलमनी मींस मेकिंग ऑफ फॉल्स एंड डी स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट समवन इन ऑर्डर टू डैमेज हिज और हर रेप्यूटेशन किसी के बारे में गलत स्टेटमेंट देना सो दैट दैट पर्सन बिकम्स डी उसकी इंसल्ट हो जाए फाइन सो ही हैज कुड अप अ स्टोरी नाउ so this is the dialogue by lashkov that beggar that sir please have pity my teacher tha for 8 years i worked at the place and you know after the colony after like people uh, ruined my prestige uh, it is a year now since i have had anything to do mere paas koi kaam nahi hai main bahut defame ho chuka hu and now the advocate sir jai looked at the rag fawn colored overcoat of the suppliant at his dull drunken eyes at the red spot on either cheek and it seemed to him as if he had seen this man somewhere before this dialogue was spoken by lashkov to sarjai that advocate and that advocate is you know very keen observer he is i told you in the beginning he is very keen observer when he saw this man lashkov usko lagta hai ki maine isko pehle kahi dekha hai aaj i have seen this man somewhere because he had some uh, you can say uh, scars on his cheeks and he looks you know red eyes and that sort of coat he was wearing so he had some apprehension usko yaad nahi aa raha tha i have now had an offer of a position in the province of kaluga the mendicant went on but i have not the money to get there help me kindly i am ashamed to ask but i am obliged to uh, to by circumstances sir jai's eyes fell on the man's over shoes one of which was high and the other low and he suddenly remembered something now jab tak ye lashkov apni kahani bana raha hai sir jai is looking at his appearance and observing him uh, very closely and that man continues lashkov says ab to mere paas offer hai to so that to join a job in kaluga बट यू नो दैट कहावते उसकी बनाई जा रहा था कहानियां ही कैप्ट ऑन मेंडिंग द थिंग्स एंड कुकिंग अप द स्टोरीज एंड आई डू नॉट हैव मनी मेरे को बहुत शर्म आ रही है बट यू नो आई हैव टू आस्क माय सरकमस्टेंसेस आर लाइक दैट ओनली मैं क्या करूं अभी सर जाए इज अगेन लुकिंग एट हिम उसको याद नहीं आ रहा है मैंने कहां देखा है लशकॉफ को इस कोई आदमी को हिज आईज फेल इमीडिएटली अपॉन हिज शूज एंड देन ही रिमेंबर समथिंग उसके शूज देखने के बाद उसको याद आया एक शू हाई था एक लो था लुक दे लुक हेयर इट सीम्स टू मी आई मेट यू द डे बिफोर यस्टरडे इन सदोविया स्ट्रीट ही सेट बट यू टोल्ड मी देन दैट यू वर अ स्टूडेंट हु हैड बीन एक्सपेल्ड एंड नॉट अ वेरी स्कूल टीचर डू यू रिमेंबर अब देखो जो पर्सन द पर्सन हु हैज यू नो टोल्ड एन नंबर ऑफ लाइज टू सो मेनी पीपल उसको ये भी नहीं याद रहेगा कि मैंने किस किस को कब कब झूठ बोला है बिकॉज ही मेट सो मेनी पीपल इन हिज लाइफ सो लशकॉफ हैज ऑलरेडी मेट सर जाए दैट एडवोकेट एंड उसको पहले एक बार उसने एज अ स्टूडेंट इंट्रोड्यूस किया था अपने आप को आज एक दिन बाद वो अपने आप को टीचर इंट्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं एंड सर जाए इज वेरी यू नो 
that park hi nazar hai uski is very closely observant person he says the other day you were telling that you are a stu you were a student and now you are telling another story what's the case so he has a doubt about this man no see he is now uh, you know stuttering yahan pe wo ruk ruk ke bol raha no 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 that can't be so mumbled the beggar he started mumbling because jab aap jhoot bolte ho you will mumble at that time take on a back i am a village school teacher and if you like i can show you my papers also haven't done with lying you call yourself a student and even told me what you had been expelled for don't you remember so jai flushed and turned from the ragged creature with an expression of disgust so obviously agar aapko pata chale ki koi aapko koi aur story suna raha tha ek din aaj kuch aur suna raha hai just for the sake of fetching money from you you will feel disgust on that person तो उसको बहुत ही डिस्गस्टिंग लगा ये मैन दैट कल कुछ और कह रहा था आज कुछ और कह रहा है दिस इज द स्टोरी इज कुकिंग अप एंड ऑल दिस इज डिस ऑनेस्टी माय डियर सर ही क्राइड एंग्रीली दिस इज स्विंडलिंग आई शैल सेंड द पुलिस फॉर यू डैम यू स्विंडलिंग मींस मेंडिकेंट बेटा पहले वर्ड देख लेना बेगर है उसका मीनिंग मेंडिकेंट का एंड स्विंडलिंग इज चीटिंग अ पर्सन ऑफ मनी दिस इज रिटर्न इन योर बुक इट सेल्फ पेज सिक्सटी He is saying that he is cheating. Yeah, this is swindling, sir. Upper side, he is doing a mistake, and again, he is saying that this is swindling. He is calling him that you are swindling. I will call police and damn you, sir. He said, you know, ab usko because he is advocate. Advocates, so we see many observers. Hote and he is saying this is very dishonest of you. You are cooking up the stories. Or I guess he said, sir, laying his hand on his heart. The fact is, I was lying. I am neither a student. nor a school teacher all that was fiction formerly i sang in a russian choir and was sent away for drunkenness but what else can i do i can't get along without lying no one will give me anything when i tell the truth what can i do ab wo sach bata raha when that advocate gives him that uh, you can say scolding and he calls him you are dishonest i will hand you over to the cops kitna bulata hu police ko to jhoot bol rahe the other day you were saying that you are a student and today you are saying you are a teacher and you are looting people out of this stupidity i will call the police then wo kehta hai sorry sir i am doing this main not a student hu neither a student nor a school teacher i was a singer in a russian choir choir means group and you know mujhe nikal diya gaya tha because i used to drink a lot but mai kya karu if i will not tell the truth if i will tell the truth nobody will give me the money what can you do you ask for what you can do cried sarjay coming close to him work that's what you can do you must work sarjay says you can work yourself yes i know that myself but where can i find the work sir how would you like to chop wood for me i wouldn't refuse to do that but in these days even skilled wood cutters find themselves sitting without bread वो कहता काम करो कहता क्या काम करो कहता यू कैन चॉप वुड फॉर मी मेरे घर पे काम है आई कैन गिव यू सम वर्क ऑफ चॉपिंग द वुड वो कहता है आजकल तो वुड कटर्स का काम ही खत्म हो गए दे आर सिटिंग फ्री दे आर सिटिंग विदाउट ब्रेड मींस दे आर नॉट गेटिंग अर्निंग मनी विल यू कम एंड चॉप वुड फॉर मी यस सर आई विल वेरी वेल वी विल फाइंड सून सर जाय हेसन अलोंग रबिंग हिज हैंड्स ही कॉल्ड हिज कुक आउट ऑफ द किचन सर जाय अपने घर गया ही कॉल्ड हिज कुक ऑलगा Olga, he said, take this gentleman into the woodshed and let him chop wood. See, this is very good uh, gesture on the part of Sir Jai, the advocate, who gave work to this unemployed man. Who said that begging to do is good. Go work, do it. I will pay you for that. So he gave him work also as a woodcutter. Olga, who said that, take him into the woodshed and he will help you in chopping the wood. The scarecrow of a beggar shrugged his shoulders. as if in perplexity went irresolutely after the cook irresolutely he never you know he was not able to decide he was hesitant ki jaau ke na jaau karu ke na karu in that way so he was hesitant but he had to go after olga perplexity is confusion he was confused what to do and uh, it was obvious from his gait gait is beta manner of walking aap kaise chal rahe ho agar aapko koi kaam bola gaya hai aur you are reluctant you don't want to do it aap aaram aaram se aise chaloge jaise kaam karna hi na ho your walk your talk your gestures will prove what you want 
so that he had not consented to go and chop wood because he was hungry and wanted work but simply from pride and shame because he had been trapped by his own words usko sharam aa rahi thi ki main to fas gaya yahan pe i have been mincing money from people without doing anything and yahan pe to kaam karna padega main to fas gaya why did i say yes to this man it was obvious too that his strength had been undermined by vodka and that he was unhealthy and did not feel the slightest inclination for toil toil means hard work inclination means uh his desire to do hard work he does not have you know wish to do hard work number 1 isko wish bhi nahi thi number 2 he did not have the strength also because he is a drunkard and he kept on drinking and due to that his body has become lethargic bahut hi dheeli pad chuki hai uski body he doesn't want to work also so sir jai hurried into the dining room from its windows one could see the wood shed and everything that went on in the yard so sir jai jaldi se dining room mein gaya and he saw wood shed was there and everything that went on in the yard standing at the window sir jai saw the cook and the beggar come into the yard by the back door and make their way across the dirty snow to the shed olga glared wrathfully at her companion shoved him aside with her elbow unlocked the shed and angrily banged the door sir jai ko laga main dekhta hu ye kya kar rahe hain abhi olga has taken this man to the wood shed and then he saw from the window that olga was coming out from the shed with this man this beggar and she was so much angry wrathfully means angrily she was looking at this man and she was like with by using the elbow she was pushing him aside she uh, you know she was i already told you she's ill tempered uska behavior bahut bura hai olga ka usne uska lock khola shed ka aur zor se darwaza khola and then here we can see olga sir jai who's wearing this and this is the beggar fine this in the center is the beggar this is sir jai and this is olga you can see this next he saw the pseudo teacher seat himself pseudo means nakli so this man was looking at this fake teacher jo apne aap ko teacher batata tha seat himself on a log and became lost in thought with his red cheeks resting on his fists gaya yeah, andar ja ke and he sat like this by keeping his uh, hands in the face in the hands he sat on sitting the woman flunched down and aches at his feet spat angrily and judging from the expression of her lips began to scold him the beggar irresolutely pulled a billet of wood towards him set it up between his feet and tapped it feebly with the axe that woman you know uh, billet means the thick piece of wood that woman gave him some wood and some axe one axe usko kulhadi di ki ye ye you can see this axe fine in the hand so she gave to this man and he was supposed to you know cut the wood with so enthusiasm and happiness and so finally he got work but no he was very feeble who is take to number 1 he doesn't want to work number 2 he has not done hard work in the previous uh, past number 3 he does not have the strength also so ab jab dil nahi aapka kaam karne ka you won't be able to give you 100 percent then billet jo tha log of wood tha it it fell down Beggar again pulled it to him, blew on his freezing hands, and tapped it with the axe cautiously, as if afraid of hitting uh, his overshoes or cutting off his finger. The stick of wood again fell to the ground. So he was doing in a very casual way, you know. Again, again, and again, that wood was falling down. Sir Jai's anger had vanished, and he now began to feel a little sorry and ashamed of himself for having set a spoiled, drunken, perhaps sick man to work. at menial labor in the cold sarjay jo dekh raha tha the whole scene he was ashamed of himself usko laga kyun main itni thand mein is old man ko not not old man this drunkard spoiled uh, maybe wo sick na ho bimar na ho at this hour itni thand mein main usko kaam karne ke liye le aaya this is not good you know sarjay was feeling ashamed of himself so this is the sign of a good person actually he has given work to this man but that man we may be working you know in a feebly good give him half a rubble said sir jai but usko aadha do you know half a rubble is that currency 
Uh, an hour later, Olga came in and announced that the wood had be all been chopped. Please underline this thing. And please see this. Sarjai was ashamed ki abai I have given this work. Aap ye dekho, yahan pe usse kuch nahi ho rahe. Fingers fluttering, oh, that billet is lying here and there. And suddenly, uh, Olga comes and she says, ek ghante ke baad, sara kaam ho gaya. Every piece of wood has been chopped. And Sarjai becomes happy. Kata, usko half a rubble de do. If he wants, he can come back and cut wood on the first day of each month. He can always find work for him. To main usko har month kaam de diya karunga. And he will get money from us. On the first of the month, the waif made his appearance and again earned half a rubble. Waif means, beta, waif means homeless person, this word. Waif means homeless person. So he says this homeless person, homeless wanderer can come to me and he, he can get money. Although he could barely stand on his legs. So khada hua nahi jata tha. From that day on, he often appeared in the yard and every time work was found for him. Every month a new work was given to him. Now he would shovel snow. Now put the woodshed in order. Koi bhi chota chota kaam that Sarjai would give him sometimes. Now beat the dust out of the rug. So please underline what sort of works he was given. This is the way he was helping. Sarjai was helping this man actually. So kabhi usko woodshed ko order me karna hai. Sometimes he has to remove the snow with the help of shovel. Usko dur karna hai. Usko so snowy area ko thik karna hai. Now beat the dust off the rugs and mattress ki dust udani hai. So every time 20 to 40 kopecks kuch paise usko mil jate the. And even a pair of old trousers was given to him. When Sarjai moved into another house, he hired him to help in the packing and hauling of the furniture. Hauling is movement. So when he shift to the new house, he gave him some work so that he can help him in packing and taking the things. This time the wave was sober, gloomy, and silent. That homeless person was very gloomy, sad. He was not talking much. He hardly touched the furniture and walked behind the wagons, hanging his head, not even making a pretense of appearing busy. Otherwise, he would, you know, do acting and I'm busy and I'm working. And But now he was very simple and sober. He was not showing off. He only shivered in the cold and became embarrassed when the carters jeered at him for his idleness. They were like, see, he's so free, he doesn't do anything. He's so weak, feeble. He's tattered, fatte huye kapde uske jo the. And everybody was making fun who was helping in packing. After the moving was over, Sarjai sent for him. So, jaise packing finish hui, Sarjai called him, sent for him means called him. Well, I'm happy with that my words have taken effect. Or usko one rubble deta. Here is off. For your pains, I see you are sober and you have no objection to work. What's your name? Lashkov. Lashkov, I can now offer you some other cleaner employment. Can you write? Yes, I can write. Then take this letter to a friend of mine tomorrow and you will be given some copying to do. Work hard, don't drink and remember what I have said to you. Goodbye. So he says that you have worked for me, the menial jobs, the small jobs, but now if you can write, I'm going to give you some good work, clean work, good employment. Ye letter leke mere friend ko milna kal. And you will get some work of copying and you need to drink, you need not drink, you need to work hard and remember what I said to you goodbye. Pleased at having put a man on the right path, Sarjai tapped Lushkov kindly on the shoulder. Sarjai was so happy, you know. Usko laga maine ek casual se beggar ko who did not like to do hard work. I changed this man. Lashkov took the letter and from that day forth came no more to the yard for work. Lashkov got that letter. Fir wo kabhi yard mein wapis nahi aaya. Two years went by. Then one evening, Sajai was standing at the ticket window of a theater paying for his seat. He noticed a little man beside him with a coat collar of curly fur and a worn seal skin cap. This little individual timidly asked the ticket seller for a seat in the gallery and paid for it in Cooper coins. 
दो साल बाद सरजाई को दोबारा से ये लश्कॉफ मिला एंड ही वॉज वर्किंग एट अ टिकट विंडो लश्कॉफ इज दैट यू क्राइड सर जाए recognizing in the little man his former good chopper how are you what are you doing how is everything with you all right i am a notary now and i'm paid 35 rubles a month now question for you do you think that sarjai really changed the life of lashkov raise your hands do you think sajai really changed the life of tell me bell hone wali hai ek question hi pucha hai maine aapse yes aryan says yes in the chat box what about others do you think he helped that man yes or no type in the chat box or you can raise your hand i will unmute you also if you type in the chat box i will announce your name Aryan meaning of sober is a simple person. Fine. Wagons were the people who have come to uh, take the luggage of Sir Jai. ठीक है जो सामान लेने आए थे उसका packing के बाद. So Riyanshika is also saying yes. Yes, he encouraged him to do work. Divya also says. So, according to most of you, yes, Sir Jai played a very good role in changing and mending the life of Lashkov, the beggar. He taught him a lesson of hard work. He helped him in transforming his life. And who was he? Why did he not come? He never came back. You remember? he also offered him the work and but for two years he never came back and after two years suddenly he meets this cop so you need to think about it okay think about it we will not continue the chapter now because bell hone lagi hai and we need to think how we can help such people who are shirkers who do not like to work hard 